Hi all, I am Tejeshwar. I am working as a junior data analyst trainee in Nindata, and this is my next task, like prediction on smartwatch prices. Okay, so let's go to in. Okay, I'm just going to do this in the Python. Okay, and I'm just going to use this pand, and these are the required packages first. So this pandas is for data processing, and numpy is for any mathematical calculations, and uh matplotlib c bond and plotly is for visualizations and these are the models you are just going to use here like linear regression decision tree random forest and train test split and uh, the evaluation matrix we can see as at last okay so these are the parameters like how much my figure size wants to be this wants with in the 12 and the 6 which means the x size wants to be 12 and uh y size wants to be 6 okay so okay so next you can go to this data set um so just upload your data set in collab and just click this three dots go to copy path and paste your path here okay so yeah and by using this read underscore csv function in this pandas we are just going to upload our data set into this python environment so this is my df Okay, so I'm just going to see my head of the data set, which is the top five rows, and I'm just going to use this tiles. Like uh, I'm just going to uh, put this background as a blue color. So I'm just going to use the slide blue, and color equal to black for this uh, values and border color. Uh, so you can't, I think you can't able to see. So there's a light pink color, right? So this is the border color. Okay. Okay, so just run this thing. Oh, sorry, I just didn't run this. Okay, so now run this thing. Okay, so now it just run. And next, uh, to get the shape of the data set. So to get the shape of the data set, just use the shape function. so you can get the total number of rows and columns so we have around 379 rows and 13 columns okay so the next thing is for data types df dot data types like df dot d types represent what are the data types you have for the particular attribute brand has been object or model has been object and we can only see this display size is the one thing with the float data type so the most of the thing is in the object data type okay so we are just going to check any duplicated columns are there so if there is any duplicated column just uh, we are just going to see is there is any duplicate so to uh, with the use of this duplicated function if there is any duplicate just uh, which means like uh, just drop those columns so we are just using this um this symbol okay the symbol just remove the, all those things from the duplicate columns and i'm just going to use this describe function to get the values like uh, particular attributes uh, values which means like um, this describe function is only for the integer data type or not numerical data type okay integer or float anything it is for only for numerical data type so we have only one numerical data type display size so it is giving the uh, basic informations like count mean standard deviation minimum and all those things okay so yeah mm. and next in this case we have uh, price us the uh, what is this column okay so this price us the column is having an comma which means like if you use this thousand you are just using a comma right here so i don't want this comma so i want to remove this thing so i'm just going to replace this comma with the null value which means like i don't uh, give anything inside this so it just uh, replaced as like this okay so the gap will be filled and not filled it will be removed okay so as same as if it, the dollar symbol is before like it is in the like okay so i don't want this dollar symbol this dollar symbol also converts my numerical data type into integer data type sorry uh, categorical data types so i want to remove those things so what i am just using the same thing and i am just removing this thing and after those things i am going to convert my 
all data into float which means for this particular attribute i'm just going to convert into to a float um data type okay so and as same as for battery life for the battery life this i'm just going to convert into a numeric without these things i'm just going to use an inbuilt function in the pandas thing like two numeric okay by using this two numeric i'm just going to convert these things if there is any errors arrived i'm just be using this course which remove those errors okay so i think i didn't run these things in this turn okay so now i'm just going to plot this using this plotly like battery life this is if there is any um, null values i'm just going to fill with this zero like you um, if there is any null values presented in this attributes i'm just going to calculate uh, sorry i'm just going to fill it in this zero and i'm just going to use this scatter plot x as a display size in just y as a price colors as a brand for all brand i'm just going to use a color and size which means the circle size is um calculated by this battery life if the battery life is more the circle size will be uh, big and the battery life is small sorry uh yeah the battery life is small the circle size is also small okay yeah, so in this case you can able to see this green this green is the more big like for garmin build the brand garmin is the more um not uh, not according to brand the size okay so the battery life the battery life is more for this garmin brand so the circle size is more big and the smallest one is um yeah, time x the battery life is one day so after one day it won't happy yes so the uh, circle size is too small okay mm, yeah so as same as we are just going to take the um things like how much smart watches is with gps and without a gps so some watches uh, some smart watches have gps facility and some mass do so i'm just going to take a gps caller and i'm just going to count those values the x is the gps count and y is the gps values colors as a gps count index which means there is two things so there will be two colors and the label x i'm just going to label x as a gps and label y as a count okay so you can see in this x as a gps and y as a count so most of the small watches have an gps facility like around 348 um small watches have gps facilities and 30 of them has not gps facilities okay so that's the thing and this i done a trend this to is yeah okay so next nfc facilities which means uh, i think non financial uh, sorry i think communication uh, i don't know near near by communication something for nfc represents like near by something communication okay so just on this okay so for nfc i'm just going to take this nfc and same yes or no uh, like a gps it is also a facility so i'm just going to use this nfc count and i'm just going to plot it in the pie chart so the same thing i'm just going to see around 317 smart watches have nfc facility and around 61 has not having this um what it uh, nfc it how it doesn't have nfc facilities okay so yeah that's the thing and the bar chart for this operating system and the price so in this case we are just going to see how the uh, price is determined by this operating system so we have a lot of operating system such so that android my ui timex kajana and a lot okay so these are the things and how much it price dependence so in this case you can see the wear os is the most priced okay like it is around uh, 1650 and 990 the because wear os is the most costliest android system okay 
so it's not an android system sorry it is an operating system okay the wear os is the most um price um uh, operating system and the color okay yeah so the next is the same thing operating system is represent to battery life so how the battery life is present and the color equal to gps so it if it is has a gps or not okay so the same wear os is the most highest and costliest thing and it has a, it also has more than a battery life also and not like um some has around 72 days some has around 324 you can be able to see here and the next the next highest is this so it has around 70 which is garmin oasis have around 70 days of um, battery life and these things are not having gps facilities this red color of represents not having gps facilities and blue color is having gps facilities okay so the next yeah this is the thing and the next is how the operating system and display size are been related okay so and display size okay so same the what is this wear os is the most thing like it has around 1.3 1.4 maximum 1.4 and minimum 1.2 okay match wear os is also available with both nfc facilities and without nfc facilities then you can see in the display size uh, okay this box size is represent the display size the most thing is okay i think garmin os is the second topest so it has around 1.4 okay so these are the things we have and the water resistance how the brand and the water resistance have we related okay so and this lines so i'm just going to use this color as a connectivity this connectivity have around five options only bluetooth bluetooth and wifi bluetooth wifi cellular bluetooth wifi gps bluetooth wifi and nfc so these are the things we have this red color is the top most for this skagen the brand skagen is the most highest with the connectivity bluetooth and wifi water resistance is of 30 meters so and the next the green uh, with only bluetooth this skagen is also there and with the uh, bluetooth wifi cell on the cosplay and with bluetooth wifi and gps the garmin is there so what are the brands having what type of connectivity you can able to see here okay and the brand and the battery life according to the connectivity so the brand garmin has the more battery life okay so the brand, uh, garmin bat, uh, brand has been more battery life with the connectivity of bluetooth and wifi also you can use this garmin with bluetooth wifi and gps and the garmin with bluetooth wifi and cellular but the battery life is small okay so we can take able to extract a lot of battery life with this bluetooth wifi cellular but bluetooth wifi and gps connectivity and bluetooth wifi connectivity in the garmin has been more battery life okay so the next thing is unlimited with infinite so the battery life something has been uh has something some value has been used as unlimited so i'm just going to use it this in infinity way value okay so the next thing is like i'm just going to use this battery life this to numeric function if there is any like if you use the any infinity value it may be like any arm um, object in data type so i'm just going to ensure that i'm just going to use this numerical values so i'm just going to use this to numeric function and by using this to numeric i'm just going to um, move this to numerical functions okay sorry numerical uh, data type and after that i'm just going to use this scatter plot for this price and battery life so this price and battery life like this or this price and the battery life like if your battery life is more like around the battery life is 722 in the price is around 299 dollars okay so if the battery life is less 
which means like around 20 but the price is around 1800 dollars so the battery life is no maximum not definite like you can able to see this all these things or critically related things like um yeah okay so around 18 days it is 279 dollars for around 16 days it is around 299 dollars these things are for um like how we can see related to the brand values okay so yeah um, okay so for these things now i think we are going to use some model so to use some model we want to convert all the categorical variables into a numerical variables to convert all the categorical variables into numerical variables just to use this get done with function already we saw for label encoder one hot encoder like those things and without using this label encoder one hot encoder you can also use this get dummies for this colors like brand model operating system connectivity display type okay so as in we already did this things so instead of we can't we don't want to do these things again and again okay just leave those things and and this i don't want we don't want this okay so just leave those things and if there is any values like 454 into 454 like these things will be in the display sizes like uh, the size of the display will be mentioned like those things so i'm just going to replace this from 1 2 3 4 5 okay and as same as if there is any columns uh, i'm just going to rename the column display size inches into only a display size I'm just going to remove this inches from this column names. Okay. So I'm just going to replace the string um, like 360 into 360 with only 360 like already we have in the here. I'm just going to use this. Okay. Because I don't want I have, like if this X also change your columns into string into sorry float into a string. So we can't able to create a model. And that's the thing. And I'm just going to uh, create a dummy we already created here. You don't want to use these things around. Okay, just leave this. This also we have already need. And if there is any null values, just you drop this null values by using this drop any function. And if there is any missing values, just calculate those things. We already did those things. So it is not. Uh, this is all the things we have already done. As same as for missing values, we are also do it for null values for any values. Okay, so all the things has been zero. So everything has been set, and now you can also use this um, what model. Okay, so yeah, we um were start. Okay, so it has been started from here. Oh, sorry, it has been started from here. Okay. So split the data set into train and post. So first of all, we want to before the splitting, we want to uh, select our dependent variable and the independent variable. The dependent variable means what uh, dependent variable is the target variable we are going to calculate. The dependent variable is this y. So in this case, the price is dependent because the price is dependent on display size, battery life and the connectivities. What are the things we have brand and like those things, right? But the brand and the connectivity, the, some brand have three or four connectivity. Some brand has uh, a number of display sizes like those things. It has been not dependent on each other. But the price is dependent on all those things. So we are just going to predict this price. So the price is the target variable, which means a dependent variable. Other than those, all those things are a X, which is an independent variable. So now I'm just going to split the string test split. Okay, using the string test split, I'm just going to split my data set into training and test by using this test size. Test size is 0 0.2, which is like 20% of our data set is test and 80% of our data set is training and random state equal to 42. And these things are like randomly chosen. Okay. So if there is any missing values, we already check. But even though if any case this there is any null values i'm just going to use this imputer the imputer means means uh, i'm just going to use the strategy equal to median right 
so this median value will be calculated for that particular attribute and the attribute uh, median value will be filled in that empty place which means if there is any missing values the median value of the particular attribute will be filled in this particular gap uh, okay so these things will be done and now i'm just going to train all the models sorry models so in this case we already uh, see linear regression decision tree and random forest we are just going to use and i'm just going to call all those models and i'm just going to train by using this fit function okay with the x train and y train with the training data set we are just going to train our data set so to see the models performance which means like uh, scores okay the r square score the maximum r square score is the best accuratable model okay so in this case the linear regression is going around minus 0.0 so it is not at all a best thing and decision tree it is around 0.37 and the random forest is around 0.34 so in this case the decision tree is the most um, better model okay so as same as you can see for msc also so msc is for mean square error which is used for regressions so for regression models you can use msc or square and for classification models if you're using you can use confusion matrix precision recall accuracy score like those things so the msc um like mean square uh to get better model in the regression the r square score want to be more and the msc score wants to be less in this case for decision tree they both can be satisfied like compared to others msc value is low compared to others r square value is high so we are just going to choose this decision tree regression as a best model for this particular model okay so yeah and we are just going to plot our data sorry not the data the predicted labels okay so we are just going to predict um just sorry we are just going to plot our predicted variable uh, variables or predicted values in the line plot so this is the line plot um, by using this uh, data set like um, by using this linear regression the line uh, the blue dots represent the linear regression which is in this data oh, sorry we can't able to drag okay so which is in this statement itself while the decision tree regression moves upward like it is more dependent on the it's not a dependent okay it the more calculated one okay the random forest is also there around these things so this is not the best thing okay so i uh, trust of conclusion so we can able to see the and uh, decision tree is the most uh, okay this is the thing okay the decision tree is the most best model for this particular data set okay that's the thing so i think that's enough in the last conclusion okay so yeah thank you